Welcome back, peeps. And we got a quick tools in action review here. Uh, wanted to go over the uh, AL539B real quick. The uh, pay me lights on, SES, money light, however you want to call it. And I uh, just wanted to kind of show you real quick. This is a 2002 Chevy. Um, and we are going to show you, I just want to show you how fast. I know what's wrong with this, and uh, this is my personal vehicle. And I just want to show you how fast this thing is to clear code. So we're going to go ahead and power it up real quick. Hit the OBD. Do a little wait for the vehicle to respond action. And boom, she's in. And then we're going to tell that, it tells you the code's found, all that real quick. Erase previously stored data. We're going to hit no. We're going to read the code. Boom, just like that. We got the classic knock sensor code on the old uh, 5.3 Vortec. Uh, pretty standard code. These are the usually the uh, circuit or the uh, wire has a deal. They're under the intake. I haven't had a chance to fix that yet, you know, because I'm a mechanic. But uh, we'll go ahead and look at the live, dat live data while we're in here. Show you how fast it pulls it up. This is just a great code reader, um, in my opinion. Gives you a little bit of live data here. Um, you know, your fuel system will close. Load percentage, ECT. Uh, Short-term fuel, long-term fuel, which is nice to have on there, obviously. Uh, we got a map, RPM, spark advance. You know, it's got quite a few. Shows your O2s. Um, second O2, which is operating perfectly, in my opinion, it's doing exactly what it want, what I want it to do. So, there's the live data on that, which is not too bad for, not too shabby for a little code reader. And I'll tell you what, this thing is rugged and durable. I've been, uh, dinking around with this thing for quite some time now. Um, I think I bought this for like 90 bucks on Amazon. But, so we're gonna back out of this now. And this also has a multimeter function on it. And I haven't had time to mess with that. Um, let's see here, let's look at the freeze frame on this. Let's see what we got here. So it shows a freeze frame on it too. We'll show the freeze frame from this code which um, I, don't, I don't really know that there's anything that I really need to see that I, is gonna jump out at me out, out of the out of, no, out of the abnormal. About 1600 RPMs, usually I check the, to the temperatures, you know, in the freeze frames and see. Looks like your ECTs are 174. Short-term, long-term fuel looking good. Maps looking good. Yeah, there's really not a whole lot in the free frame that's probably going to give you any definite data uh, that would lead you to believe anything different, I guess. I don't know. I haven't seen any. I haven't really checked out anything else or any other codes. Uh, I've just been playing with this on my truck to see what it was like. we got an O2 monitor test, an onboard monitor test, component test. Tell you the modules present. Not much there. <laughs> Um, as expected, this is just a pretty glorified code reader once again, so, um, no, let's not, let's go back here. Oh, I accidentally bopped out of there. I don't know what I did there. Anyways, um, so let's pull this back up again. I want to show you how fast, you see how quick it got into everything anyways. Um, so I'm going to erase this code it comes back sporadically but I'm gonna replace those uh, knock sensors and that harness in there I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the scan tool in action um, let's see what we had for component test too no nothing supported on that so not a problem let's just erase this real quick yes yes boom money lights off you know Race codes command sent, perform read codes function to verify. 
So we'll go back and verify this now. No code stored in the module. Press any key to continue. So that's, uh, now we're going to exit out of this. That's how that works. Now this also has a battery test function. Um, and it's got a clamp. And I, I've, I've used it, but I, I will show that in another deal. It also has a start test. Um, I think, yeah, so we can, we can do that right now. Make sure the ignition is on. Press OK. Let me turn the fan off. We'll shut the stereo off. Helicopters are coming over. Now we'll shut down the engine. And start engine. Cranking normal. So that gives you a the voltage, voltage percentage, and crank time. Press OK to retest. So I thought that that's kind of nice. Uh, it's not probably really effective. I'm not sure that you really need it, but uh, anyways, that's that in live action. And then we'll look at the ready test here real quick. Let me get some air flowing back in here. It's a little bit warm. So this gives you a few functions right here. There's really not much here to look at. Fuel, communication, cat. Pretty basic EVAP, not available. Um, PID count, DTCs, nothing. If there was something going on there, I'd be able to do that. But um, Yeah, so like I said, this is a, this is a handy little tool. I, I really like it um, for clearing, you know, like reoccurring codes or something, if you know what you need to do to fix it. And uh, so let's say I would have fixed the knock sensor on this and the service engine soon light was on. Um, I would have cleared this code fast, you know, something that for an issue that you would have been fixed, fix something or whatnot. Um, really quick, really handy, nice long cord. Um, the dongle comes clear out there. Um, so I, I definitely recommend this for uh, a technician to have. This would be what I would, would recommend for any technician to have. It's 90 bucks on Amazon. Um, I don't have a link, but I, once again, I'm not out to promote any sales of anything. I'm just showing you what I think are good tools for good, you know, good buys. And this thing is really, really nice. It's even got a little kickstand here uh, if you want to. There's a charging port for it. I haven't charged it yet, but I'm assuming that the OBD2 connector charges it. So it stays, uh, currently it's connected to my truck most of the time, uh, just because I like to monitor stuff. And I like to keep a scan tool with me in a personal vehicle all the time. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed this video, this quick little tools in action. AL539B, look it up. Definitely a, a good buy. Uh, I will try to do something more with this uh, multimeter function. <coughs> um, I think... Yeah, I won't plug. I don't think it'll come on as long as I have the OBD2 connector come on because it'll mess with the um, PCM. But, uh, anyways, I will do a, a little bit of a tools and action on the multimeter. It's pretty cool. Um, I think you could use it to diagnose quite a bit of stuff. But, uh, anyways, like, comment, smash that like button. Don't just like it, like, smash it. Uh, ring that bell. Um, definitely let me know comments current concerns criticisms whatever you don't like it hit that thumbs down um, let me know anything I can do to help you guys out I'm just a blue collar guy just like all of you I'm just looking to help you know mechanics get into the industry excite them about some things and show them some good tools that I think are worth the money to buy 90 bucks you will not regret buying one of these um, you might be able to find them cheaper that King Bullen uh, site seems to be like a really good site to check out. I uh, had a couple, seen a couple guys have conversations with them. Really good people there. Um, definitely give them a holler. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Look forward to uh, more videos in the future. Have a great weekend.